You probably know about the static ride height of a vehicle, but what about the dynamic ride height of a vehicle? We're gonna learn more next. This video is sponsored by Monroe Shocks and Struts, home of the Feel the Difference Guarantee. Learn more at Monroe.com. Chances are you're having trouble finding that static ride height specification for a vehicle in some of the OE service information. The reason why this is happening is because spring technology has changed and the static ride height is not as important as the dynamic ride height. Maintaining proper ride height is crucial to a vehicle's durability, performance, and safety. When the ground clearance is too low, the driver may experience excessive tire wear, severe damage to suspension components. Furthermore, improper ride height can impact vehicle alignment, directional stability, stopping distances, and even steering control. When performing inspections, technicians often are looking for issues with the static ride height or the ride height when the vehicle is at rest. Measuring the ride height in this manner might suggest adequate ground clearance, but the dynamic ride height, the ride height of the vehicle in motion may tell a completely different story. With today's lighter vehicles and lighter suspension components, a vehicle with an acceptable static ride height may still bottom out while moving or during loaded conditions. The cause of such dynamic ride height issues is often a worn or damaged coil spring. Hey, some shops, they're gonna try to save the customer a little bit of money by reusing the old coil spring. But the reality of this is that it could cost the consumer a lot more. Static ride height is only gonna tell you so much about the condition of the coil springs. A more thorough inspection focusing on several key indicators of worn springs can help avoid this pitfall. Ultimately, the best way to ensure a proper ride height and ground clearance at static resting height and during operation on the road is to always replace the complete strut assembly. Springs included. Doing so likely will save the customer money in the long run. When installing new springs, the technician should be sure to grab as many coils as possible during the installation to prevent damage. Your other option is to go with a loaded strut. This includes a brand new spring, a brand new strut, and typically an upper strut mount and the associated hardware. This can help restore the ride and also the ride height of the vehicle without having to do a lot of disassembly and assembly, saving you and the customer time and money. During your inspection, what are the signs that the dynamic ride height and the coils are bad? Well, for the first sign, look for smashed or missing jounce bumpers often where they make contact with either a control arm, an axle, or even the frame, it will leave a witness mark there. Look for excessive tire wear, either on one or two tires, and also uneven tire wear. When you go on your test drive after your visual inspection, look for compromised handling or ride quality during cornering and braking, and even acceleration. Also, look for inconsistent spring ramp angles or kinks. You may want to compare a spring side to side to see if things match up. Look for excessive sagging, leaning, or swaying, especially when the vehicle is loaded. If you're having trouble finding that static ride height in the service information, you need to perform a dynamic ride height inspection on the vehicle. This will give you more insights into the condition of the coil springs. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.